Hey everybody, so I've gotten an awful lot of questions about my air bike wings since I've been doing these videos about the ribs. So I'm gonna dive into this real quick. And um, so basically the drawings that come, when you buy the drawing set for the air bike, there's some pretty detailed drawings on the wings, but there's just a lot of places in my mind that I just thought, you know, I don't understand exactly how that's gonna work. So I took the time to draw my entire wing in Fusion 360 to understand how every joint, how everything works. So uh, the next thing I'm getting ready to do on the airplane, as soon as the ribs are done, well, and I'm gonna mount my motor, cause I, I mean my engine, my engine's gonna be here uh, next week. So the next thing is to build the spars. And the spars are basically made out of either spruce or Douglas fir. And they're made up of several different pieces that are laminated together. The shear webbing is gonna be birch ply. Um, but I've gotta build the spars next. And then basically what happens is um, the ribs, <coughs> excuse me, gets glued onto the uh, spars. And then you're going to, at least for me, I'm gonna add all the stiffeners after that and now the leading edge, um, a lot of people ask me if I'm going to take a hot wire and cut foam and make leading edge parts. And no, I'm not. I'm going to, um, I'm going to basically just, uh, you know, cut it out of ply, glue it on just like the plans. Now the skin that goes on the front here, I haven't made up my mind. I've seen people <clears throat> do fiberglass and I've done a lot of fiberglass sheeting in my life where you take plexiglass and you wax it and you put like three layers of four ounce cloth on it squeegee out all the resin and you end up with a really flexible nice piece of fiberglass you could wrap around here um, I've done that a lot on my giant scale aircraft but I'm not real keen on doing that um, for this just because the fiberglass is easy to sand through if you got any imperfections or anything if you've got you know, like an eighth inch light plywood there. There's a lot of forgiveness there when you're trying to blend and sand things together. Um, the fiberglass makes me a little nervous. I think the fiberglass might be heavier too because I think light plywood wrapped around this leading edge and then, you know, putting the cloth on the wing would be the lightest way to do it. And that's what I'm wanting to do. But if you are good at either SolidWorks or Fusion 360. It's easy to draw this wing. I've actually put this wing on my Patreon. So if you want to download and have the Fusion 360 file, um, you can look at the wing, how I, I at least I constructed it. And um, uh, the aileron, I am going to change. Hang on a minute, hinge hardware. So one thing that the Aerobike plans show that I am going to uh, go away from is they show a slot in this hinge right here so that when you put the aileron on, the two ends are bolted into their um, bushings. But right here, there's a slot and you would slide the axle for that hinge into this. Now, of course, the aileron's not going to flex or it wouldn't move back and jump out of that. But my paranoia, I just, I want a real hinge there. So I'm going to put two access panels in the bottom of my wing so I can reach up through here and bolt this uh, hinge on once I put the aileron on. So here's the aileron. So they want, th this bolt is part of the aileron and they want a slot in this hinge here where you would slide it in there. And I'm not gonna do that. And I've seen a lot of people not do that. They put access panels in the bottom of the wing. And, um, but I hope this makes sense what I'm doing everybody. I, I just wanted to draw this so that I understood how every piece of wood, I know the dimensions of every piece of wood, I know uh, virtually everything uh, that I have to cut for this. And these are the two hard points that hold the wing to the fuselage for the struts. And uh, down here, there is those that actually attach it to the fuselage, what I call my root fittings. So the spars are next. So yeah, if you've been watching my videos, I'm finishing up the spars right now. I had the gussets on one side of the spar and I'm putting the gussets on the other side right now. So uh, that's pretty much this video, everybody. I just want to give you a little update what I'm doing with the wing. And um, I got to build a, a table to uh, basically a jig table to build the spars on so I can build them straight. 
and uh, then from there on I'll start gluing ribs to them and we'll get a real wing so the fuselage is done if you've been watching my videos the fuselage is done and uh, the engine will be here next week and I hopefully get that engine mount design because the engine is a uh, engine that's never been used I believe on an air bike uh, but it is a PPG engine that gets 26 horsepower so uh, ultra I mean the air bikes good between 23 and 28 horsepower so I got 26 so I, I'm sure I'll be fine so that's it everybody have a great day and uh, I hope to see you soon and if you um, haven't yet like and subscribe to my channel so you get the updates uh, you might visit my patreon it's dag the aviator but I'll put a link in the video and uh, rock on have a great day and be safe later